because there were so many objects. And I found all these beauty products, you know, tins and glass bottles and things from the 50s and 60s. And I found this beauty company called Valmore, and it was based in Chicago. And I was really intrigued by Valmore. The drawings were, the drawings were really elegant. There were live drawings done by this black artist called Charles Dawson. And all the advertising and naming around Valmore was really romantic. So if you brought a perfume from Valmore, it might be called Follow Me Boy, or Look Me Over. And I saw adverts for Valmore in Ebony magazine and they said things like, his eyes will follow you across the room. You know, they, they really drew on this romance and I was interested in how pulled to it and thinking about what it's like to be a woman in the 50s and in America and, and buy these products, you know, they were sold door to door like Avon. So someone would knock on your door with a basket and they would have all these products and you could choose. And they were so convincing with all the copy, you know, sometimes I'd read about these products and read about a hair pomade and think, I wonder if you can still get this? Because it would just sound like it did everything you would want a hair thing to do, you know, they, they were so convincing, those ad adverts. And so they had this charm, this romance, but they also had this other part to them, which was that the beauty for sale, like the love for sale, was very much a long, um, white-aligned beauty. You know, it was targeted at black men and women, but the emphasis was very much on, you know, straighter hair and, and lighter skin. And so I wrote in response to this, uh, this company and on all their romantic uh, advertising. <laughs> In the first half of this song, the person is very much under the spell of Valmore. And then halfway through, something else happens, which you'll see. Black 